What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from SeaWorld Orlando. We were just here a couple days ago for the official announcement of Pipeline the Surf Coaster. Yep, that's the official name. And there's been some new progress as far as construction. Let's go check it out. Quite a bit more people here today than what I'm normally used to. It is also right at park opening, right around 10 a.m. or so. Security was a breeze. Ticket windows have a little bit of a line. And turnstiles also have a little bit of a line, but I see some new stuff. Launch track right there. They got a lot of the catwalks and railings up now. Crane has been moved. They haven't done anything in about a week, week and a half or so, but it is finally picking up again. We have supports that have been placed over here for the turnaround. Yep, like usual, not much of a way to get through and we are on our way. Beautiful temperatures right now. Somewhere in the high 60s, low 70s. It's Florida winter, or at least it was the last two days. Lows were in the 50s. Again, a lot more people around the park this morning. I'm not used to seeing this. Fall stuff is still up. But it's good to see all the people in here. Yeah, you know I'm here early when the bridge just opened, 11 a.m. And here we are at the construction site. So we can see the launch right there, the Airtime Hill. Crane over there and Crane over there. Again, those two guys were sitting over in the parking lot for about the last week and a half. Another thing to note, Sea of Trees. Yeah, how could I have missed that? It's right in front of this entire site right now. So the Sea of Trees are going up for Christmas celebration. Stationary is looking really good. A lot of work over there in the last week and a half. They have this weird kind of metal structure over there too. Maintenance barn and brake run looks pretty good. And then over in this area, we showed in our last update a couple days ago that that was getting a bunch of the foundations finished up for the turn. So for those of you that are wondering some of the stats, if you haven't seen our release videos, well, check those out. But stats for the ride, 60 miles an hour, 2,950 feet of track, 
tallest point is going to be 110 feet and that's going to be right over here in the turnaround area and of course the seats dynamic movement they're going to go up and down they're not controlled by a motor or something like that it is all physics high requirement is 54 inches tall just like all the other b&m coasters Bayside Stadium and it's getting some work as Electric Ocean is coming down and Christmas celebration stuff is happening. So we have some of the stuff set up for the ice rink. And I know we brought it up in another update, but the Renaissance sign that was on that building, still missing. I still hope that would turn into a resort hotel. That would be amazing. What is this that I see? The Sky Tower is testing? Sky Tower, and it has been closed since the hurricane. Again, we saw it testing just a couple minutes ago. Fingers crossed it may open. I don't know though, we'll see. As of right now, just doing testing, not in operation, so it might be open later today, but this is a good sign that it's gonna be open for the weekend. Again, the first time since the hurricane came a couple weeks ago. In just about a week, this view is gonna be real different. As that crane right there is right where the turnaround is. Again, 110 feet tall, so right over the top of this building right here for Flamecraft. Then we have the airtime hill right there, and then the corkscrew right there, high-speed turns over in that area. This dude has his turbo props on. Look at the week he's making. Manta? Pink chickens! They're all kind of sleepy today. It's still early in the morning, isn't it, guys?
Well guys, that's gonna do it for another video here from SeaWorld Orlando for Pipeline, the surf coaster. Yay, we have an official name and stats and got to see the trains. Good news though, vertical construction continues. Our crews are now putting supports for that big turnaround after the launch. I'm really happy to see that as it has been a little bit, about a week and a half or so. We're gonna have a lot more construction updates. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Midway Mayhem. We'll see you out on the Midway, guys. Bye.